Hello everyone, Casey here with Modern Witch Doctor. So would you like to learn how to stain the skulls of your enemies? Just kidding, a little. So today I'm gonna to be staining this dough skull using black walnut hulls. And black walnut hulls are an excellent, excellent natural source for a dye or a stain. They've been used since basically Neolithic times. Um, many people know about black walnut wood, which is very dark in color. And the reason this is, is um, the way that they used to process it, they would actually stain it using the hulls. Now, throughout the centuries, um, black walnuts have been made into a paint or a dye. They've been used to dye hair, actually. They've been used to tan hides, to make um, paint and stains. And one of the things they were used for was staining bones. Now, because I am known as the Modern Witch Doctor, um, this nickname does not come without reasoning. So I have always had a large fascination with bones. I make a lot of crafts using them. I utilize them as weapons and natural sources of um, tools for my pottery or fishing hooks or a lot of different things can be done with bones. Now, one of the things I enjoy is decorating them. So I'm somebody that likes to take something that is dead and gone and make it beautiful again. So because I am into nature and natural sources of, you know, food and, and medicine, um, it is obviously a no-brainer that I would choose a natural source for my crafts. So all you need to make this natural stain is basically walnuts. I use a rock to bash up the walnut hulls. This, of course, does not need to be perfect, but you just want to break them up. Now we need water. So now I'm gonna infuse my walnut hulls over low heat. I'm gonna try to keep the flame pretty low so that this infuses slowly or at a small simmer. Now we wait. The longer you simmer, the stronger and darker your stain will be. So it's all up to you how long you're willing to wait. I decide to lay down and enjoy the beautiful day and the fire. I now am gonna test the darkness of my stain. I'm gonna use the antler tool that I've been using to stir, but obviously a thin piece of wood would work. Um, once again, the longer you cook it, the darker it will be, but I'm happy with how this is looking. Now it's time to stain the skull. Now because the pot I'm using obviously does not fit my entire skull, I'm going to do part of it, wait a few minutes, flip it, do part of it, wait a few minutes. Um, if I was doing this not in a outdoor primitive fashion, I suppose, I would um, strain the walnut holes and then add it to some sort of tote or big pot. So the method that I'm using today is the same exact method that would have been used in primitive or prehistoric times. Now, obviously people did not have cinder blocks and cast iron pots, but they would have been using a ceramic pot or stone pot to basically simmer the walnut hulls. Now, when it comes to making a um, paint or a really thick kind of dye, there is a li little bit more of an in-depth process. So I will save that for another video. Now the skull I'm using, I did clean up a bit, but it's been bleached by the sun, so it was very, very white. I'm going to give you guys an example of how dark this stain can actually make bone. Now I do want to add that um, heat can make bones brittle. I am using this skull actually for craft, but um, if you were going to do this for a piece of bone that you were going to use as a weapon or something that you needed it to be stronger, um, I would recommend allowing this to cool off first. So this is our finished skull. 
he is still dripping a little bit um from the dye but and obviously my hands are also stained so beware of that but as you see the this walnut hull created this dark beautiful rustic stain um this is a wonderful wonderful method for dyeing your crafts naturally even fabrics naturally um i actually just made a primitive tomahawk just the other day and i honestly should have um, soaked him in walnut hulls before I did it. But this is a really, really cool method of um, using the natural environment to create certain things. Now, I am somebody that absolutely is a huge advocate for utilizing all the gifts that Mother Earth can give us. This entails everything from weapons to food to medicine to our homes we live in. So if you're somebody that collects bones or you're into bones, um, doing whatever it is with the bones, if you're interested in a natural method for staining your bones, this is an excellent way. Until next time, guys, stay wild.